All right, guys, welcome back. It's another day, another video. Now, what I'm going to be doing today is more SPL tests of the Audi, but today we're going to focus on single digits. So I guess today's video is single digit send or something. I don't know. Uh, I was talking to some guys about this test, and some of them said, well, good luck. A lot of amplifiers won't play that low. So we're also going to test that. Will this stereo integrity 200.4 play single digit frequencies? I'm fairly positive it will. So today's testing is going to be all the doors closed, all the windows up. We're just going to measure pressure in the vehicle. And the reason for that is I don't want ambient outside noise to interfere with our measurements. Uh, as it is, when you're measuring single digit frequencies, the resonance of the panels and stuff in the car, uh, it's going to pick that up. Term Lab will pick that up. And as you watch the video across the bottom of, of uh, Term Lab, you will see the fundamental frequency. Well, you won't see it because it doesn't display that low but you'll see the fundamental frequency and multiples of that, so your harmonics. So we're gonna measure, start at 10 hertz, windows up, and then we're gonna go down from there. And this is gonna answer a couple of questions for us. One, how low will the car actually play? And two, when I told someone about this, his response was, well, good luck, because a lot of amplifiers won't play that low. Since there's no input filter on these stereo integrity amplifiers, we're gonna see just how low these amplifiers will play. Um, based on listening to bass I love you in the car I know it will play 8 Hertz but we're gonna measure and see just how low this car will play Mike at the headrest and again I did not move it forward to Mecca measurement location just your normal driving position back here in the back of the car same setup as before we have our test leads and ammeter clamped on one output channel of that 200.4 and we are set up over here, ready to test. All right, we are full tilt. This is max output, and we are going to do, starting at 10, we're gonna do SPL bursts uh, coming down to, uh, to one. And the only thing I've changed is I did put the window up over there, and uh, we're gonna see what she does. So, ready to start our track, 10 hertz. That is a 137.1 at 10 on 464 watts. 9 hertz, get ready, get the software set up for this. And I'm starting these tracks before I start the measurement because there is a, a pop when the track starts. One thirty one point two at four oh three eight hertz. Reset our software. One thirty one point five at three thirty nine. All right, seven hertz, guys. This is an SQ car. This is not intended for SPL at all, but uh, that's what we're doing today. All right, seven hertz coming up because that's what you do. One thirty point two at two ninety three, and that again is per coil. Reset our software and start our six hertz track. One twenty seven point four at two forty four. do 5 hertz and 
and that is a 122.7 at let's reset that one because the pop of it cutting off came up kind of high and we're going to start again on five One twenty two seven that showed one sixty seven. I used that measurement just to get the power uh, reset four hertz. Reset. Let's try that one again. One fourteen three at one eighty seven. Three hertz burst in an SQ car. Ninety-five point nine and eleven. I think we may have found our limit to output on this amplifier at three hertz. Two hertz. Yep, I think we're pretty much there. So that is it for our SPL test. I think we have found our limit. All right, guys, you know I can't end this video without showing you what it's like in the car. So we're going to start at 10 hertz and go down to 5 or so in car just to let you see what that's like. So here we go, 10 hertz. Eight. It's playing eight with authority. Seven. Six. Five. Four. And then car four really drops off. So we're going to go back to five. So that's it. We, uh, we got great output down to five hertz in the car. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty wild to have uh, an SQ car, of all things, that just does not care. All right, guys, that was one of the more interesting tests I've seen an SQ car go through. I started at 10 hertz, again, with doors closed, windows up, and we got a 137.1. At 9 and 8, we were at a 131.2 and a 131.5. 7. 7 hertz was a 130.2. 6 hertz, 127.4. 5 hertz was a 122.7. And then at 4 hertz, we took a good drop. We went down to 114.3. Uh, another big drop at 3 hertz at a 95.9. And after 3 hertz, 2 hertz, 1 hertz, I didn't feel like I got anything that was an actual good measurement to give you guys. So I just stopped at 3. So was it the amp finally giving up playing signal at 2 hertz and 1 hertz? I don't know. Does it matter in what we're doing? <laughs> not really. Not at all. Um, the fact that we got 137 at 10 is great, and getting 130 at 7 is even better. So there it is. 
I told Julio that it would play single digits, and it sure does. So until next time.